Hello guys, it's Vivs here from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the app delegate.swift file. You've noticed that file and you've seen several methods inside that file. What do these methods do, how you can use them and why you need to understand them. Before I start, two things that I like to point out. First, we are also there on Udemy. Our practical courses are available on our Udemy link which is right below in the description of this video. Second, if you go to our channel SlideNerd, if you go to playlist, this video along with the rest of the iOS videos is placed inside the iOS Swift tutorial for beginners. There's also a Swift tutorial for beginners playlist that includes only Swift videos. Now let's get back to Xcode and get the app delegate lifecycle working. So right now I have come to Xcode and if you take a look I have my hello world app open here and on the left side in the project navigator I notice the viewcontroller.swift file and the app delegate.swift file. So that brings us the first question. What are these files? Why are there so many methods inside each of these files? And how do those methods work? Or when do those methods get called? And by whom, right? Let's take a look at how we can analyze that. With each of these files, I would like to see how the app runs line by line. And that process is called debugging in the world of programming. Now, every line is not something we are interested in. Rather, we are interested in very specific lines and we are going to mark them. Those markings are called breakpoints. For example, inside the application method, I will go here on the left hand side and simply click on this line number 19. When I click there, you notice that this blue kind of marker appears over there. Now, what happens basically is that when the code runs and when it runs this line, then we are going to be shown the contents of all the variables and stuff at that particular line. So I'm going to add a breakpoint in all these methods because I want to be notified when I jump inside those methods in code. So there you go, there's five, six methods out here. And there's another file that is viewcontroller.swift where again, I will add some breakpoints at these particular lines. Now, all I need to do is run our app and take a look at what happens in the bottom in the console area. Now, if you don't remember, in the previous Xcode tutorial video, I simply go on the right hand side and I select this second button here, which says hide or show the debug area. I will click on that. And right now, there's my debug area at the bottom that has been activated. Now, let's try to run this app on an iPhone 6, which is not the latest device at this point. So, I'm going to run this over there. And you will notice that as each line runs, you get this weird stuff happening here. This complete line is marked in green indicating that currently you have entered this method called application. If you open the emulator, you still see the splash screen. However, there is a button here. If you take a look at this, it says resume or continue with the program execution. I'm going just going to continue there. And once I do that, I jump to this file that is viewcontroller.swift where I'm currently in running this code print ln method over here. Once I again click resume here, I'm going to jump back to my app delegate.swift file where application did become active method is called here. And when I click resume program execution, now you notice my app is on the screen. That means there were three simple methods that were called. First was inside this view app delegate.swift file called the application, which was initially called. Then we jumped to the view controller and we loaded it. And third step, we came here and call this method which was application did become active. Now let's see what happens when we try to pause the app or stop it. Now there are several ways that people try to pause or stop the app on an iPhone, right? Now let's try to simulate some of them. I'm going to go to the hardware at the top and at this point I'm going to select this option which says home. When I click on it, you notice that once again some line is running here. In other words, there is a method application will resign active that has been called before your application is inactive. When you resume the program execution, there is this method application did enter background that is called to indicate that you have actually entered the background in your app. Now we will take a look at these methods in detail as to what they do and what you're supposed to do inside them. But right now I assume that this is giving you a rough idea of what is happening when our app is running. Now let's try to again start our app by the iOS simulator. I'll click on the icon here and just notice what happens. I click on the icon and I click resume program execution here. Immediately this method which is application will enter foreground gets called over here. Once again I go to the next step. The application did become active is called here to indicate that the user is currently looking at the app on the screen. If you take a look at the iOS simulator you will see this in action. Let's try another experiment. This time I'm going to lock the screen and see what happens. I go to hardware here. 
there's this option called lock i hit lock there immediately you see the same method that is application will resign active gets called here i continue the program execution this method application did enter background is called here to indicate that the application has entered the background and the user is not interacting with it anymore i resume the program execution and you see this complete black screen over here let's try unlocking the device and see what happens i go to hardware at the top again here to lock here this time it gives me an option saying swipe to unlock let's do that simply swipe out there and you notice that once again the application will enter foreground method is called i resume the program execution application did become active is called to indicate that the user is interacting with your app out there and you resume and you see the app running over here now let's try to see what happens when we terminate the app now i'm going to terminate the app the standard way that people do on their iphones that would be to hit the command shift and press h twice so press command keep shift pressed and hit the h button twice once you do that, you immediately notice that on our iOS simulator, we have the screen where we can switch to a different app. Also, you notice that there is this method that is will resign active that is being called over here. At this point, I'm just going to simply swipe the app up and remove it. Let's take a look at what happens when I resume the program execution. I resume here. It goes to the application dead enter background. I click resume once again. It goes to the application will terminate option here it says called when the application is about to terminate save the data if appropriate so once you click resume here you notice on the ios simulator you see that we are back on our home screen again and on the right hand side bottom here inside my console you see all these methods that are getting called out there when i minimize the app maximize the app or i terminate the app so this is basically like a life cycle or the sequence of methods that will be called on your iOS device depending on what you're currently doing with your app. Let's take a look at these methods in more detail. So there you go, there's the breakdown of these methods. There's the application method out there which has two different variations. First one which is will finish launching with options is the first chance to execute code when your app is about to launch. Did finish launching with options perform any final initialization before the app is displayed. Application did become active as you saw is the time just before the application is about to become active an application will resign active is the time just before your application is going to enter the background you take a look further you see these methods as well there's did enter background which simply indicates that your app is now running in the background but will enter background is when your app is about to enter the background and there's of course application will terminate method that lets you know that your app is about to get terminated so if you take a look at a pictorial diagram here this is what you see there's this application method that gets called the user sees the app the application did become active gets called here now the application is active you press the home button or the lock screen the application will resign active as you notice and there's this interrupt which is basically nothing but events in other words when the application is active that is when you can move tabs you can swipe the screen you can do stuff out there but when it is not active you cannot do any of that right and that's what interrupt is all about Again, then you notice that application will enter background when you're about to go, like the lock screen being turned on. And then the application will terminate finally when your application is about to be removed from memory out there. So this is the basic life cycle that an iOS application follows. And these are the different methods out there that get called. In the next video, I'm going to talk about what are the different steps that run when you're launching your app from the launch home screen. In the meantime, be sure to Google us out on SlideNote Udemy, our social accounts on SlideNote Twitter and SlideNote Facebook. And all the code for all the videos is out there on SlideNote GitHub. If you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to SlideNote and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.